Oh, wow. He ate something big. Wow, that's a big one. Hey everyone, just got a call for a rattlesnake in a bush in Scottsdale. Uh, I guess it rattled at the gentleman as he walked by, so I'm gonna go grab that. For timing's everything. Uh oh. He just left. Oh yeah, where'd he go? You, can, you know where is it kind of where he went? Not really. You got a picture of him? Just to show you I'm not out of my mind. Oh no, I believe you. <laughs> Here, can you see? Oh, yep. Yep, it's a black tail rattlesnake. Sweet. Would that want to put me in the hospital? Uh, yeah, you'd need antivenom. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'd need antivenom too. <laughs> so he was in which bush? He was curled up right there to the right. In right, this one? Right under oh, there. Oh, under there. And when I first saw him, yeah. he was rattling at me pretty good. Oh, was he? Okay. So like down here is a good spot. <laughs> right. Oh, it's over here. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see the router right there. Oh, yeah. Good eye, yeah. Nice job. I wonder if that's the same one. Probably. Uh, if it's a black tail. There's, I mean, they're not super common over here. Go. Oh, wow. He ate something big. That's what I thought. Wow. I thought either ate something big or was pregnant. Wow, that's a big one. Really? Yeah. I just got a black tail from your neighbor, one of these neighbors close, this street. Really? <laughs> uh, maybe three or four days ago. Oh, I think the guy at the security gate told me that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, listen. To this, this one's a lot bigger. He looks like he ate a rabbit or something. I've never seen a black tail, is that? Is it, I, honestly, before this one, I've never got a black tail in this neighborhood. Um, uh, so that's kind of Are they cool. more venomous? No, they're just this, the same. I mean, they all kind of have different types of venom, but yeah, yeah I mean, you'd need antivenom and whatnot. Um, all right, got this black tail rattlesnake. Absolute unit of a snake. This thing is so big. Look at how thick that snake is. I don't think I've ever seen a black tail rattlesnake this big. And he is very strikey. So I wouldn't be surprised if he strikes this. He's been striking the lid. I just need him to crawl on in here. Holy crap. That is a big snake. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh man. See it, bud? That was awesome. That snake was so big. Um, so I was just over on that same street maybe three days ago for a black tail rattlesnake. Not the same one. This one is a lot bigger. I didn't look. I'll have to look at the pictures to see if it was a male, female. So maybe he smelled her or something like that is going on. But two black tails, same street, a couple days apart. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a cool call. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, it's not Thanksgiving for you, it's Thanksgiving for me. I just got done eating. Uh, my whole body was about to go into a shutdown. And that's how I was gonna stay for a long time. And then I got a call. So there was a rattlesnake in the backyard, family dinner, the whole bit. So I am on my way. Yes, we are open on Thanksgivings and all the other holidays. Uh, snakes still move then too, so let's go. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, it was interesting finding this place. <laughs> not a lot of like, uh, House number enthusiasts on the block. <laughs> it's hard to see. How often do you see snakes here? <laughs> really? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Hey, see it. What's up, brother? Yeah, it's a little, how's it going? Oh, is it out here? Yeah. It's a little Western Diamondback. Let me grab him first. Baby snake. Oh, so where was it when you first saw it? Just right there. It was right, like right, right where you were, okay. grabbed it from. <laughs> no. Nope. Fire guy that can't kill Yeah, and it's illegal. Is it? For a fire guy? Yeah. It's the way, but there's a license. And they cut the head off, and like two years ago, and I had a big one in my garage. Yeah, that, that's. We're not supposed to. That's illegal. Okay. So what you heard there about the fire department is unfortunately true. Um, some of the fire departments that offer. Snake relocation services um, do not relocate them at all. Other like, well, I guess they relocate their head from their bodies. If you want to define it that way, um, yeah, it is frustrating to say the least because there are laws that dictate how this work is done, and uh, they are not following them in any way. Not helping the animals, not performing the task right. So I'll figure out what I can do about that another time. But right now, it is. 
this Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to think too hard about work anymore. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to, uh, even though it's like 7 o'clock, I'm going to have that post-turkey nap that I've been thinking about for days now. And um, I'm going to release this thing tomorrow. All right, thanks. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Uh, yeah, happy Halloween. I'm tired.